guys. I thought I would film a haul video for my second video. And it, there's not a lot, it's just a few bits and bobs that I've happened to pick up through the past two months. So here we go. I guess I would first start off with this sweater. Like I don't even know if I should start off with it, but I will. It's um kind of like a big grandpa sweater from Goodwill. Let's see if I can it's a it's cute. It looks like this. It's really big, it's really big. It's really oversized. I got it from the men's section at Goodwill and I really love it. Like now I find that I wear it all the time. Every day, all day, all the time. Which is probably not the best, but I do it anyways because I'm a rebel. Slash I'm not a rebel, I just I like wearing big sweaters. So next I have two t-shirts. I got them from Zara. They were both on sale, but I don't think you can find them anymore on the website. I couldn't I couldn't find them at least on the website. But um, the first one is just kind of like this um I guess you could say it's zebra print. It's like a like a zebra print t-shirt and it's a little bit transparent. Let's see if I can show you. Like that. So it's a little transparent. It's zebra print. It's a size medium and I just I like it because I need more casual t-shirts to wear, especially as spring is around the corner. I say just around the corner, but it literally snowed two days ago, so like, kind of around the corner. But this is the one, just a normal t-shirt, there's nothing too special about it, but I just, I liked it and it was on sale for, I want to say like $8, so I thought, why not? And the second t-shirt from Zara I've been wearing all the time, I love it, it's this. And I hope you, it's showing up on camera, but there's like this leather detailing along the collar, like along the shoulder that I love. And the t-shirt itself, let me show you, it's got these skulls right there in the middle and then this kind of baroque looking pattern all along the side and it's just a grey t-shirt but I really love it for the skulls in the middle and the leather detailing. I think it's kind of a unique t-shirt and it's kind of really sweet to wear with just like um, my uh, American Apparel Disco pants. I just think they look really good together, so I really like that. That was also, I think, maybe $10. So maybe if you go in store in Zara, you can find it. I just couldn't personally find it on the website. But maybe in store, you'll have more luck, maybe. The next thing I got in Zara was, okay, I'm normally not one of those people who fall for the ploy of like putting things by the cash register so that you'll see it on your way out, you'll buy it and you'll love it. I'm normally like not all about that, but I saw this smell, this fragrance, this perfume by the till and I happened to open it and oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's called Black. Zara Black. And it smells like, like vanilla and kind of a little bit sexy. It's a little bit of a like sexier scent. It's not anything light and floral at all. It's yeah, definitely a little bit muskier, but like in a good way. And I love it. It's so good. I wear it all the time. I used to uniformly like just wear my Chloe perfume, but this is so good. I wear it all the time. I love it. Black. If you're in Zara, pick it up. Also, it was only... I definitely want to say it was less than $10 but it could have been just over $10. It's somewhere around the $10 mark, somewhere there. And next is an item from a store that I don't really shop in much, but I went in on a whim because I hadn't been in there, so I thought I would give it a whirl. And it's this um, pleated, pleated black skirt from American Eagle. And it's a high-low skirt, so this is what it looks like. So it's pleated, high-low, uh, the highest part of it hits probably around mid-thigh, which is a good length for high-low. It's in a size 6, it's in a size 6, and I wasn't immediately drawn to it, like, gotta have it, I need it. But it was on the sale section, it was in the sale section, and it was on sale for just under $30 I think maybe which normally wouldn't have drawn me because 
just under $30 for a skirt that I'm not in love with doesn't seem that great. But the clincher is that it was also 40% off clearance, which is just game over, game changer, gonna get it. So I think in total the skirt was $15, $16 or something like that. And I had an old gift card from forever ago that I found in my wallet. So I ended up paying like $3 or $4 for it. So I mean $4 for a skirt that I will absolutely wear seems like nothing so I don't know I really like it it's a plain black skirt I really love my black skirts you'll probably grow to learn that about me but I just I have a lot of long black skirts and I always think they're all doing something different but they're actually all doing the exact same thing so that was probably a little foolish the next item is from Brandy Melville and I went inside I'd actually never been into Brandy Men blah, 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 blah. I'd never been inside a Brandy Melville before but I saw it and it looked like it had a lot of simple pieces, like good simple pieces. I didn't end up actually buying any clothes though. I went to the jewelry section and I saw this cute little, mm, I hope you can see him. It's a cute little elephant necklace. It's just on like a bronze looking chain and it's just a cute little elephant. I'll have to zoom in on him because he is worth seeing. But it's just really cute. It's pretty short, like it hits around there on my neck. But I just like it and it was, I'm really bad at remembering prices of things. I want to say $6. It's what I'm saying. It's what I'm remembering. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. The next items, the next three items that I got were from Boohoo.com. I was on their site and I just wanted a few spring summery pieces to spice up my wardrobe and I didn't really had any have any idea of what I wanted in mind but I just went on the site and I found a few things so here they are. The first is this kind of roll neck like mock turtle neck crop top. It looks like this. There's a neckline and there's that. Looks like it was a shirt for babies. Like I saw it and I was like, that is a shirt for a four year old. That won't work out. But I've, I've had a similar shirt before from American Apparel, so I knew that it would work. And this one is in a size six, US six. So it's really great. It's really sheer, not really sheer, but it's kind of a thinner cotton material. I really like it. I would definitely probably buy a few more from the website just because they're really cheap. They were only $10 and they're really nice and they're okay quality but for ten dollars who's complaining about quality you know I don't know I really like it I'll wear it probably a lot with high-waisted skirts actually there's a high-waisted skirt that I have coming up that I'll probably wear it a lot with so let us move on to that I also got this um, scuba I think is what it's called scuba circle skirt I think they call it scuba well they obviously call it scuba because of the material but um, the way that it fits, I was a little wary by the name scuba because I just, I think of scuba material and I don't think of anything that I want to wear. But the way that it fits is fantastic. It's just a circle skirt, like a normal circle skirt. And the color is called mocha. And it's in a size 10. And I love it. The way it flounces, like the, because of the scuba material, it just perfectly flounces in and out. It's doesn't stick out too much, it doesn't fall flat, it kind of holds its shape really well. And it's really, really cute, it's really comfy, it has a lot of stretch. There's just, there's nothing I don't like about this, this skirt, there's nothing I don't like. I decided to get it in this mocha color, mocha is what it, the color was called on the website. I decided to get it in this color because I don't own anything, I don't think, in this color. And it seemed neutral enough that I could still wear it with a lot of things, like, this shirt so I think they're a really cute pairing maybe I'll show it in a video yeah I might do that I might sub in some video shots of me wearing those two th together the next item I got from Boohoo is this okay it's very similar to the skirt I just bought but pretty much in dress form it's just like this coral color skater dress it's just got a normal scoop neckline and then if I get up show it to you. 
and then it just like flounces at the bottom much like the skirt does now this skirt this dress came with um a belt attached like a really cheap looking plasticky faux leathery belt and it had loops on it i just took the belt and threw it away and i just with like scissors removed the seams where the little loops were because they were also made out of like a cheaper material so i just took those out and if i want to belt it i'll belt it myself i don't need belt loops so that's that i really really like that i think i'll find myself wanting to wear this every single day the back i don't know if you can tell but the back is a little bit lower than the front which i also really really like um yeah i mean there's nothing nothing not to love there so that was a good buy one thing that can be said for this dress though is that i got it in a u.s size 8 and I would probably get it in a US size 10 if I bought it again. Just because it fits really well, but it's super hard to get on. And on top of that, it like compresses your chest and gives you like pancake boobs. So it's definitely something that I would suggest going a size up in if possible. I mean, I wouldn't re return it because of that. It's just not worth it. And I still really like it and you can work with it. But that's one thing to keep in mind about this dress. The last thing I got is from this store called Katie. Now, if you're from Toronto, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. It's on Queen Street West, and it's really boutique-y and small, and you'd probably pass by it if you hadn't been in there before. The walls are just white. There's nothing particularly special about the store itself. But inside it are a bunch of really, really cheap and I mean super cheap dresses and skirts and that kind of stuff. It's normally in a kind of one size fits all design. It's good if you're let's say going on vacation and you really want a few cheapy dresses that you don't mind getting dirty or ruining. It's great for that. I decided to go in there just to find like maybe one summer dress because again I'm, I'm in summer mode in my mind so I decided to go in there to try and get one of those and I ended up finding this dress that I love. It is kind of a bandeau top dress just like this just straight across and it's in a really light coral color similar to the color that of the dress that I just showed but less in your face you know a little a little more subtle and it's let me show you looks like this so it's a sheer dress it reaches I think just above my ankles but there's also a slit right up the leg right here so it slits all the way pretty much to mid thigh which i really like and it's a sheer material with a slip underneath that also reaches to mid thigh just around to where the slit in the dress ends and it cinches at the waist and fits well at the top i was really wary of buying it just because i was too lazy to try it on like I had on a giant, my giant winter jacket and my huge purse and I had shopping bags and you know when you're just like kind of done with shopping but you're still shopping? So I didn't try it on because I couldn't be bothered. It's a one size fits all so there's no buying a media mesh and hoping for the best. So I just, I kind of just eyeballed it, looked at it and I was like I think this works. And luckily it does. The slip underneath is a little bit short. I might have to add some fabric around the bottom of it just to um, fix that, fix that up. But for the most part, it's really nice. I really, really love it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, and it's price. Let me tell you, it cost, I wanna say $14. The dress was $14 which is nuts because like it's not a particularly crappy quality dress it's pretty good and it was only $14 it's probably still there I feel like they have the kind of stock that's not really revolving it kind of just stays as what it is so it's probably definitely still there and I really really liked it so that is that's my haul that's what I got it's not a lot but I figured it was worthy of putting into a video and I always love watching haul videos so I figured maybe someone else will love watching haul videos so thanks so much for watching and I hope you stick around. Bye.